Hey there guys, Chet here. Today, I'm diving into Zoho Projects, one of the big names in the project management space. If you've been comparing tools like Asana, Rike, or Monday.com, you've probably seen Zoho Projects come up in the conversation, but is it actually worth using? What's great about it and where does it fall short? Well, I went ahead and did the research for you. And in this video, I'll walk you through the key pros and cons so that you can figure out if Zoho Projects is the right fit for your team. First of all, Zoho Projects has pricing options that are really flexible. There's even a free plan, along with three paid plans depending on the features that you need. Even better, you can try everything with a 10-day free trial. This way, you can check it out before committing to anything. On top of that, Zoho keeps updating the software over and over. You're always getting improvements, which helps the platform stay fresh and easy to use. Another great feature is the time tracking tool. It's perfect for logging work hours for different clients or projects. This makes billing and reporting simpler and more transparent. The project tracking is easy to use as well. Teams can track progress and share updates or changes right there in the platform. The team forums are also great for keeping everyone in the loop. And if something goes wrong, Zoho's customer support team is known for being quick to help. One more thing that stands out is the workflow automation. You can create custom workflows to make processes smoother. This saves time and cuts down on mistakes. Plus, the paid plans let you work on unlimited projects. It's easy to switch between them in the same interface, which is super helpful when you're managing multiple clients or teams. Now, let's talk about the cons. Of course, no software is perfect, and Zoho Projects has a few weak spots that you should know about. First, the task search feature feels limited. Right now, you can only search for tasks within the project you're currently working on. You can't run a search across all projects at once, which can be frustrating if you manage a lot of projects. Second, the bug reporting system could use some improvements. Users often have to attach screenshots when reporting issues, but sometimes those uploads fail, making the process clunky. Another pain point is the dashboard. Some people have reported that it's hard to organize client contact information or sort client names alphabetically. And when you export client data, you only get basic details like internal IDs, names, and emails, and not much else. Finally, there's the learning curve. Many people say that Zoho projects can be tricky to set up and use at first. It's not the most beginner-friendly tool right away. The good news is there are tutorials and templates to help you get started. It might take a little time at the beginning, but once you get the hang of it, things will run much more smoothly. Final thoughts, despite its flaws, Zoho Projects is still a strong contender, especially if you're looking for a budget-friendly project management solution. It offers solid features, flexible pricing, and strong automation tools that make it worth considering. At the end of the day, it's really up to you to decide if it fits your team's needs, but I definitely recommend giving the free trial a spin and seeing how it works for you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more honest SAAS or SAS reviews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.